I'm Dan Danieley, Executive Director of the Burlington Alamance Airport Authority, and I'm a, I'm a local guy. I grew up here in Alamance County, went to Al Western Alamance High School, uh, went to Alamance Community College and to GTCC as well, and took aviation courses and wound up as an airport director. I've been in this business 40 years, and I meet with my colleagues around the state on a regular basis. So the one thing that we're fortunate is, is knowing that our community supports this airport. Um, the elected officials, the business people, uh, people in general support this airport because they know this is an economic development tool for our community. The airport is um, very professionally uh, run. It has a great organization in the airport authority that's uh, operating it and managing its growth. Um, it's been a great partner for the city's economic development efforts in providing locations for aviation and aerospace businesses and also a location for executives and folks who are looking to start companies or running companies in the region uh, to arrive via private aviation. Um, so having that executive airport operation and opportunity here in Burlington provides better access. Um, and it's been a, a great transportation and logistics hub for a big company like LabCorp, who's bringing in samples from around the country uh, for their esoteric testing center here in Burlington. Burlington is literally one of my favorite airports because of their level of engagement and willingness to support what we're doing. And, um, you know, Dan's always a phone call away, and to me that is so valuable to what we're doing because of his experience and his expertise. Burlington's been one of the highlights of the region. They have a great potential, great location, and we're continually working on active projects to keep their pavement safe, to expand their facilities, and to meet the needs of their users. GA Airport is a campus, a campus of, of many groups of businesses, of, of purposes. Uh, we have the, uh, the flight school, we have maintenance facilities, we have different corporate uh, businesses who are located here, uh, along with uh, those who serve uh, the general flying public, such as selling fuel and providing catering and, and those are the type of amenities. My goodness, we're located so strategically along the I-40, I-85 corridor between the Raleigh-Durham, Shop Hill area and Greensboro. It's right in the middle of the state, so you can get, get to Burlington fairly easy from anywhere in the state. And it's right between Raleigh, <clears throat> Durham, and Winston-Salem. So it's, you know, it's, it's really convenient for people to get to the big cities from right here. We can be in Greensboro or Raleigh in 10 minutes by air, Winston-Salem, uh, Southern Pines, even down in Wilmington in 30 or 40 minutes. We can serve most of the state of North Carolina very easily from here. We have made the connection uh, for some time now that airports succeed where there's great transportation and airports help uh, feed that great transportation as well. So Burlington is in a great central strategic location in our state along that corridor for business, economic development opportunities, serving some pretty major companies and uh, access to that whole Piedmont region. It gives us access to uh, uh, allow future growth as a company, but more importantly, we're so close to the main artery, the highway I-40 is very close to us, I-85, and that's extremely important for us in terms of not only shipping engines out of our facility, but we also provide support around the world 24-7 uh, of uh, engine parts. So we have, currently we have well over 180 airplanes that are flying around the world that require support. So our facility here uh, provides aftermarket support for those airplanes. So if an engine uh, has any issues and we need to ship parts out, it makes it so easy for us to get it out very quickly with uh, the location that we're in right now. It's a great spot in uh, North Carolina for new development growing fast and I think our uh, airport is a key reason for that accelerated growth and uh, for new opportunities going forward. 
I did a lot of research about how flying services do well and it seemed like airports that are near big cities but not in big cities uh, tend to work out really well. So with that in mind, I looked at Burlington because it's right very close to the highway. Uh, we can get the things we need here, but yet it's not a big city airport, so uh, cost of land, cost of fuel, cost of those sort of things are not quite as high as you would see at a, at a bigger airport. And also we have a little more ability to build what we want, so the airport authority has been very flexible with us to let us build the hangars that we need or have the space that we need to grow our business. Burlington kind of fell into the, the Goldilocks zone for us. Um, we can get flights because we've got another base out in Utah. We've got the offices for main corporate in the Seattle, Washington, and Rochester, New York areas. And with Raleigh, Charlotte, and Greensboro right nearby, getting flights to here is pretty good. We're far enough away from the coast um, for the threat of hurricanes. Um, and the town overall is highly rated as a great place to live, low crime. So it, was, uh, it helped us be able to draw talent they'd want to move here um, in just a five minute search you can tell that this is a pretty special place and I've been down here now for a few months we've been open for about nine months and this is an amazing place to live great weather um, and more importantly the the airport is absolutely great to work with um, great support from the airport manager our neighbors everyone's real friendly here The majority of our flights are kind of twofold. We have the flight school that's very busy teaching students. Uh, most days they have 10 aircraft and they're flying all day long. But the other, the other half, the other segment of our travel, most of the people in and out of here are business travelers. Uh, people flying into Burlington to conduct business, people flying from Burlington to other distant destinations to conduct business. So it's the business traveler, it's the economic engine of the community. Burlington Airport is a business-minded airport. They focus on customer service, taking care of the, uh, taking care of their corporate tenants, as well as uh, all general aviation activity on the airport. So many businesses are anchored at the airport, and it serves so many needs for our community for economic development, but also for recreation, for bringing people to Alamance County. There's quite a few air operations that occur out of this airport, um, from uh, LabCorp that runs commercial samples every day. Um, we have helicopters on the field. There's just a very vibrant aviation community here at Burlington Airport, many of which um, we like to think of as our customers that use products that we produce to help keep them flying. Regionally, companies like uh, Walmart, um, Sandvik, um, uh, Becton Dickinson have used it. Uh, the Sheets operation here in Burlington, uh, our friends at Honda, uh, GE Honda Aero, who manufactured the jet engines for the Honda Jet, um, all of them are regular users of the airport. Um, Elon University and Elon Aviation are also big users of the airport. We have airports, passenger airports that are close by, but they're crowded, they get used a lot, and we fill a space in the aviation community that is desperately needed and really cannot be met by another facility. The airport is a critical component uh, to our business uh, development opportunity here. Uh, we've got a great story to tell. We've got a lot of great assets uh, in this market to sell to new and expanding businesses, and the airport certainly one of them. And in the time I've been here, it has, it has gone from here to here. I don't know how that shows up on the camera, but it's really gone. It's an exponential increase in the terms of the, the asset that it is now. The whole goal of the airport, the whole purpose is to serve the community. And a good general aviation airport is a tremendous economic engine uh, to a community. Those communities that have those uh, really see the benefit. And so uh, my travels and, and being some corporate flying uh, prior to this job, I saw other airports and saw what they were doing for the community and realized uh, what the potential was here. <laughs>